Ticks. Mm, that's drunk. The Ticks started off as a comic series in the late 80s, but most people know it as a Saturday morning cartoon show from the mid-90s. Yeah, it eventually got a couple different live-action TV shows, each with varying degrees of success, but the animated show stood out as something different. It was weird in the same way stuff like Animaniacs and Freakazoid was weird. It was the rare show for the time that openly made fun of itself and satirized superheroes. It was really funny and one of the more memorable animated shows of the time. But sadly, I cannot say the same about the tick for Super Nintendo. This game is terrible. Sure, it's not without its positives. The artwork is good, all the characters from the show all definitely stay true to themselves, and the Tick's dismissive flick of a finger to finish off an enemy is pretty funny. The Tick shouting SPOON after he finishes a level is great, of course. All told, the show's universe is represented well here, and hey, the game was developed by Software Creations, the same people behind the Spider-Man SNES games and stuff like Plock. But there's some major, major flaws with this one, most of which have to do with the way the game is structured. You start out on top of a bus, beating up ninjas. You can throw ninjas off, which is nice, but one wrong move and you fall off. That's a life lost. This goes on and on until you're taken to a 2D platforming stage where stuff is coming at you from off-screen that you barely have enough time to dodge. Seriously, having projectiles coming at you from off screen is one of the absolute worst things you can do in a game. It sucks. Now, if you get hit here and happen to miss your jump and fall, you end up in a boss fight against the running guy, and that's basically unwinnable. You have to time your attack absolutely perfectly by the millisecond and by the pixel. So yeah, in other words, don't fall off the buildings. Structural problems aside, the game is just such a slog to play through. The first section of the game is titled Knights of a Million Zillion Ninjas, and it's no exaggeration. These levels just go on and on and on and on with the same enemies over and over. The A button punches, Y kicks, X summons Arthur for a clear screen attack, and there's power-ups you can pick up that get other characters involved like Paul the Samurai, American Maid, Oedipus, and Deflator Mouse. But it's purely a cosmetic thing. They don't really add anything to the actual gameplay. There are a a couple special moves you can do, but they definitely aren't unlike anything you'd see in any other beat-em-up. The Tick goes on for 44 levels, which is absolutely insane for a beat-em-up, and there's no password system or saves here. I swear, I sat and played this one for two hours, and to give you a frame of reference, most beat-em-ups are usually something like 40 or 45 minutes, and I have no idea how close to the finish I actually was, but man oh man, this game is such a dreadful playthrough that I felt like I'd been hit by a bus when I was finished, and I will not be going back to this one. The Tick also has a Sega Genesis game, but it appears to be more of the same. No thanks. So yeah, as great as the Tick cartoon was, the Tick Super Nintendo game unfortunately is just bad. I'm not sure I can find a larger disparity between the quality of the source material and the lack of quality in the corresponding game in the entire SNES library. Avoid this game! <laughs>